What's up guys? Welcome back. As always, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate each and every one of you that stops by and checks out our videos. Definitely helps us out. Before we get started, to let you know what I'm going to be doing to Lilith here, do me a favor and just hit that thumbs up button real quick. And if you've yet to subscribe, just hit that subscribe button. You'll be glad you did. We have a lot of great content up already and a lot of awesome things in the future coming up. So with this video, guys, um, a lot of you that uh, went with the shark demon headlights, I don't know if you were like me and originally had the Baja LP6s like I did. Um, they were good lights. Don't get me wrong. They were great lights, but they had really no beam pattern to them, right? It was just kind of a massive floodlight. They were really bright. These are very bright as well. Equally, I would say, biggest difference is the Shark Demons actually have a beam pattern for road driving, not just for off-road use. Now, one thing that I miss about the Baja LP6s is that I was running the clear and amber combo. And the clear and amber combo for me helps for nighttime driving because the amber helps with depth perception while you're driving and then the clear really lights things up. So you're getting kind of, you know, the the best of both worlds with that with that setup with the clear and the amber setup. Well, I've been waiting and hoping and praying and just hoping that uh Custom Dynamics would be releasing an amber version. I'm still not sure yet if they will be doing that or not. Um, I know that a lot of you guys are waiting on purchasing your Shark Demon setup um, in hopes that they're going to be releasing a uh, clear and amber combo to purchase. But in the meantime, I found the next best thing. All right, so I'm sitting here editing this video. And just so happens that Custom Dynamics literally just dropped within the last 15 minutes their clear and amber combo for the Shark Demon headlights. I will link those in the description if you want to go check those out. It is right now only for their V2 version. I don't know if they're going to be doing a V1 version at all. So go check them out. Kind of ironic uh, as soon as I'm editing this video that they release the clear and amber version as I was literally just talking about it last night. So anyway... Back to the video. I don't know why I didn't think about this months ago when I first did this installation, but um, got a solution to that. So on Amazon, and I'll provide the link in the description so you can go right to it, click on it, you know you're buying the right product. We are going to do an amber, a yellow amber wrap on our headlight. Now I'm gonna wrap the left side, which is gonna be your clutch side uh because when you're when you think about it when you're on a road and you got oncoming traffic one of the first lights they're gonna see is this left headlight and if it's got that amber color it's gonna be a lot more noticeable and visible to those oncoming drivers so i when i had the bajas in there i had the amber one on the left side and it worked great uh, definitely more visible for the oncoming drivers to, to see you. Even during the day, it's very, very bright um, and very noticeable. So that's that's the plan, guys. We're going to take this $10 sheet. It's You get quite a bit. I mean, you get more than you're going to need for just doing the one headlight. So you have spare if you need it for whatever. I, do whatever the hell you want with the excess. Um, but yeah, so this is some good quality vinyl um wrap guys it's um it's good stuff it's made by vivid uh 3m i'm not sure how well it's gonna work to wrap it while the light is still on because you want this to stick really well you don't want there to be any bubbles or creases or anything because it's just gonna peel away and degrade and just look terrible and you're gonna have to redo it so do it right the first time and you won't have those issues uh, like I said, you probably will need a heat gun just to pull this and real tight in these weird 
um, spots that have the uh, these angled edges. But honestly, I'm probably just gonna pull the headlight. <clears throat> so I think it's gonna be easier. I mean, a, a few extra steps to do it the right way. And it's cooler in the house. Right now in this garage, it's over 100 degrees. So um, let's get to it. I'm gonna pull the fairing, get the left side headlight out, and then I will meet you guys back inside.